Congenital pulmonary stenosis is a heart condition present at birth. It is characterized by obstruction to blood flow from the right ventricle to the pulmonary artery. This obstruction may be caused by narrowing or stenosis at one or more points from the right ventricle to the pulmonary artery. The pulmonary valve consists of three thin and pliable leaflets which open easily as the right ventricle ejects blood to the lungs for oxygenation. It functions as a one-way door allowing blood to flow in a forward direction into the pulmonary artery. With pulmonary stenosis, the valve sometimes has two leaflets instead of three. This is called bicuspid pulmonary valve. The problem with the pulmonary valve makes it harder for the leaflets to open, therefore causing disruption to normal blood flow. At times, the diameter of the pulmonary valve or pulmonary artery may be small or hypoplastic, resulting in obstruction. A newborn with extreme pulmonary stenosis presents an emergency situation. This is because the right ventricle cannot eject sufficient blood flow to the pulmonary artery to maintain normal blood oxygen level. In such an instance, the blue blood bypasses the right ventricle flowing to the left side of the heart through a normal cardiac structure found in all newborns called the foramen ovale. Newborns with critical pulmonary stenosis therefore will have cyanosis, that is, blue discoloration of lips and nail beds due to lower levels of oxygen in their blood. This group requires early intervention to restore blood flow to the lungs either through catheter-based intervention or surgery. One of the most common procedures is known as balloon dilation. A balloon at the tip of the catheter is placed across the valve and is then inflated to open up the narrow valve. Once the catheter is placed in the valve to be opened, a large balloon is inflated until the leaflets of the valve are opened. Once the valve has been opened, the balloon is deflated and the catheter is removed. Treatment will be determined by a child's doctor based on the severity of the condition, your child's age and overall health tolerance for specific medication or procedures.